What are Overwatch Season 17 best heroes? With the last two balance patches and the future 222 rollock feature, the meta is continuing its metamorphosis. The best Overwatch characters that composed the Overwatch meta for so many months are definitely gone now, and other heroes took the spotlight. So if you want to learn a new hero or choose the most effective one out of the pool of characters in Overwatch Season 17, and if you want to rock your placements by recommending the best heroes at the moment, then you're at the right place. I'll give you the top 5 heroes for Overwatch Competitive Season 17 according to their other buff win rate and peak rate, along with some competitive tips for each hero while showing some Overwatch Top 500 footage. Coming up. Alex here on Overwatch Limbo, bringing you a true community experience to learn, improve and grow together as better players. So if you're new here and want to keep up with Overwatch news, events and other workshop updates with no messing around, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon to make sure to be notified of all my future content. Now, before we start the usual disclaimer, there's no such thing as the ultimate heroes or hero, the one character you can just pick and it will make you win every game. Some weaker heroes are overwhelming in the right hands and some strong heroes are completely useless in others. So as long as you play a hero you are very good at, there's no reason for you not to crush Overwatch Season 17. Also the rank you are playing at will strongly affect the strength and effectiveness of some heroes. For example, Reaper is almost unplayable in Grandmaster games, he'll get punished before he can even get close enough to deal some damage, but he's definitely a big threat in gold. Finally, note that this selection is tied with the balance of the game at this point. With the next patch that comes around, things might change, but I'll make sure to let you know in the pinned comment below of any major meta update. Before jumping into the selection, a few quick words on the niche heroes that are currently standing at the top in terms of win rate. Torbjorn, Symmetra, Brigitte and Mei all have a pick rate below 2% and are very specialized. They are extremely efficient in precise situations which is why they have such high win rates. But for the purpose of this video, we will not consider them. Alright, let's start with hero number 5, Roadhog. For the year of a pig, the returning grace of a hog seems totally natural. But it's just in the last season that he finally found his way back to the meta. And the funny thing is, he didn't even receive any buffs since last year, and his win rate barely increased in the last 3 months. His peak rate though almost doubled since the 1st of April. A constant rise that can be explained by two main factors, the successive nerfs that D.Va received in order to kill goats, and the buffs to Orisa that took her to the top seat of our season 16 selection. Indeed, Roadhog is Orisa best sidekick. As slow as her, with no defensive abilities, he can make the best out of Orisa's shield while synergizing perfectly with her with the Deadly Heart Hook combo. On top of that, the return of many squishes to the game increased his killing potential and his overall survivability. And the most important part of Roadhog's job is the value he's getting from his hooks. So in order to optimize his deadliness, make sure to right click on your target before you hook, to 1, adjust your aim and miss less kill shots, and 2, deal the extra damage that will most likely make you finish your enemy off with melee. Next up is hero number 4, Ash. Once again, the deadlock gang leader makes it to this top 5. Her pick rate and win rate are quite steady, and the recent outrageous buff to Macri's fire rate just slightly decreased her pick rate. Will Macri take her place in the upcoming weeks? Most likely not. His win rate was so low that even the last huge buff he received didn't make him more valuable than Ash. He might feel overwhelming sometimes, but in most ranks, how many shots Macri can shoot per second doesn't do much difference since they still have to hit the target to have any impact. That's why Macri's win rate went back down after the initial boost boss patch. Ash, on the other hand, get the most value out of her dynamite. She's one of the rare DPS that can damage Orisa without trying some risky flanks. So she's particularly useful against bunker comps. That's why it's so important to put people on fire as consistently as possible. Throw your dynamite on top of Orisa and Ryan Shield and shoot at it mid her to detonate it is the easiest way to give your team the advantage in the fight. So take the high ground, try to reach off angles, change position often, and use your coach gun to put some distance between you and pesky flankers. Do that while hitting your dynamite shots and you won't even need great aim to be useful to your team. 
All right, before jumping in the top three, let's take a short break so I can tell you to stay until the end of this video where I'll give you the top five heroes for each rank. And if you enjoyed the video so far, please hit that like button and share it with your friends to help me grow this channel into a true community asset. Back to the top and hero number three, Doomfist. Since patch 134 mid-March and the reduction of its cooldowns of 1 second, Doomfist always had a fairly high win rate. But his peak rate was under 2%, so he's been excluded of season 16 best heroes. But last season his peak rate touched 2.3% and he became the best DPS of the meta. Until Macri's buff. Yes, because Macri's higher fire rate and massive increase in peak rate made Doomfist players life way harder and made his win rate go back below the 2% bar in the last week. The reason why I kept Doomfist in this list is because his win rate didn't drop significantly since Macri's change and because I believe Macri's buff might be slightly reduced in the next patch. That being said, Doomfist doesn't work all the time. So when learning him, keep in mind you must be able to flex to get optimal results in comp. Also, Doomfist's value comes from his ability to always land his cooldowns in order to get extra armor. So mastery over his unusual movements is essential. That requires a lot of practice, but combined with good cooldown management and great game sense, it will make Doomfist almost unkillable. Very much like Genji, but with a one punch one kill deadly ability on top of it. Coming next is hero number 2, Zenyatta. The last balance changes made him more powerful on his own, but less supportive of his teammates. But it didn't impact his overall effectiveness. Zen is as powerful as ever. His peak rate and win rate are steady with just a bit of an increase of peak rate through season 16. Bunker Comp recent popularity plays in his favor, since his low mobility put him at risk against long range heroes and flankers. But surrounded by robust teammates and protected by an immobile shield, he can unleash his sniping potential much more easily. Because yes, Zen might be the number one support hero, but he's actually a DPS in disguise, and hitting shots consistently is a must playing him. To do that, a lot of training is required, but more importantly, good positioning is imperative. Keeping the line of sight on both his healing and damage orbs as long as possible is key to get as much ult charge as possible. And knowing when to back off and where to be to avoid dying and to hit the decisive blow on a low health enemy is not a small task. So as a new player, practice your prediction aim but also learn how to optimize your position by studying the best Zen mains in the world like Jonak. And here is hero number one, Orisa. Once again, Effie's creation takes the first place of Overwatch top five heroes. And with a recent buff she received, making it possible to reload while shooting, she strengthened her leading position even further. She's touching 6% peak rate now, while keeping a very high win rate of 54.6%, an incredible number that has to be explained by the lack of strong and easy counters to the bunker comp. But the reason why Orisa is dominating the meta is because of all the nerfs that D.Va received in the past few months that made her unable to eat big cooldowns like Heart. In fact, not only D.Va can't use her defense matrix as often than before, but she can also be easily outranged now. And Heart is one of those abilities that can clearly make the difference in a teamfight, because it's so easy to combine it with other heroes' abilities or deadly shots. We talked about Roadhog's hooks, but think about it. Any long-range heroes like Hanzo, Widow, Ash, Anna or Zen can transform those hearts in death sentence. So the first step to make the best out of Orisa is to learn how to land consistent heart and maximize its efficiency. Pull people off high ground and above shields, stop enemies from running away, make squishes fly to single-handedly deal with them and of course seize any opportunity to get those flashy environmental kills for insane all charge. Orisa is the queen of Overwatch season 17 meta. Her high peak rate at every rank proves that she's invaluable overall. But if we look in detail, some heroes are better than her at specific ranks. So here's the top 5 heroes per rank. My question for you now, are you gonna play or learn any of the season 17 best heroes? Choose your answer in the poll up here and if you will main another hero, let me know which one and why in the comment section below. I answer all the comments and enjoy discussing with you any topic, so don't hesitate to share your thoughts with me. Also keep in mind that those tops might change with the next updates. 
For now, there's been no balance change with the current PTR version of the game, but there's a possibility that the wall queue system will be added to the game in the next patch. I'm talking in detail of what to expect from all the summer updates in this video, so make sure to check it out next for more about that. And if you're interested in improving at the game and mastering a new character, I will publish soon a how to learn a new hero video with the training program that I will use next season to add Ash to my pool of heroes in comp. So consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon to make sure to be notified when my new content goes live. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember Losties, lose us all, not your mind.